Assalamu alaikum. With you, Madame Dirkawi of Kia. In this video, I present an introduction to constant programming, abbreviation CP. So, constant programming represents one of the close approaches computer science has yet made. The user states the problem, the computer solves it. CP is a field that provides languages for modeling problems and tools for solving them. Concept programming is an efficient technique for solving combinatorial optimization problems. In CP, a problem is defined over variables that take values in domains and constant which restrict the preload combination of values. CP uses for each constraint an algorithm that removes values of variables that are inconsistent with the constraints. This is the principle of the resolution. We will see uh, the different algorithms that resolve uh, a model of constraint programming. Now we talk about the CP application. So, concept programming is a rapidly growing technology that makes it possible to efficiently model and solve many problems. It has application in fields as varied as scheduling, telecommunication, graphics, software, test generation, natural languages, databases, routine, etc. So, in the technology of constraint uh, programming, we use the CSP model uh, to solve the problem. We have the problem, we, model, uh, we will modeling it in the CP, in the CSP model. The abbreviation of CSP is constraint satisfaction problem. And this model is a formal model or mathematical model. CSP are the subject of intense research in both artificial intelligence and operation research. In particular, CPAs CSP are the base of constraint programming, and it is an important model uh, which is used uh, to model uh, an important problem. So, because CSP is a model, uh, automatically it has uh, concepts which form this model. So, the model concepts are decision or unknown variables, variable domains, or variable, which give us the variable tips. If the domain is finite, CSP, uh, we talk about CSP on finite domain. If the domain is infinite, we talk about continuous CSP. And the constraints are the relationships between variables. More formally, the CSP concepts are three sets. We have X, the set X, which is a set of XE variable. Is, so X is the set of variables or the announce in the problem we can see uh, also the decision variables. D is the function that associates with each variable xe its domain, dxe. It means the set of values xe can take. And we have the c, it's a set, uh, c, um, it's equal to uh, c1, c2, uh, to ck is the set of constraints. Each constraint CG is a relation between certain variables of X, restric restricting the values that these variables can simultaneously take. What we see with these uh, three sets and the relationship between uh, variables, we can uh, see that the CSP model is formal model. 
there are many or there may be several models for the same problem but the most important thing is that the model is valid for the real problem we must always try to simplify our model to make them easy to solve in other words we must minimize the space by choosing our variables and constants carefully not the number of points in the search space is the intersection of all the spaces in each CSP constant. So, what's the CSP search area? Indeed, the search space of CSP, uh, which is, which is uh, um, formed with X, D, and C, with M variable, uh, X is a set of variable d is the domain of that variable and c is the constant Now this search area is defined by a set e which is the set of couple x e v e whatever e is between 1 and n v e is an element of d x e and the number of elements in the search space is defined by the product of the number of elements of uh, each set, uh, each domain of XE. So uh, we can uh, call it the cardinal of the set because is it is the number of elements. Uh, in this in this search area, donc the search area or the search space is a non is a set of points uh, which is formed. The member is um, equal to the product of the card cardinal of each uh, set d x e, so that. If all variable domains are of the same size k, in other words, dxk, uh, the cardinal dxr, the size of the search space is k uh, n. This is an example of the model CSP. Consider the consider the consider the following uh, the following linear linear CSP. Uh, variable we have two variables x1 and x2 the variable domains are the x1 um, is uh, in the r uh, positive the x2 in the r positive and the constant are the relationship between x1 and x2 so we have uh, 3x1 plus 4x2 uh, uh, we um, see that the constraints are numeric. So, this, uh, the, the tip of the CSP is numeric. So, we will see the different tip of the CSP model uh, uh, good. Um, now, uh, why I see that the, the CSP is linear? because the constants are linear. Uh, good, don't, uh, so this is the first video about the, C, the technology CSP uh, programming. And uh, we use the English language to, uh, exp to uh, present this lesson. Uh, so I, uh, for uh, this is the um, reference that I used to prepare this lesson. So I, I uh, hope that uh, this lesson uh, is clear. Uh, thank you for your, uh, thank you for your uh, uh, to uh, to. Thank you.